Many people find it tough to live below their means without sacrificing their quality of life. So today we will see how to build a rich life on a tight budget. I'll share some of these secrets to help you live below your means without spending too much. Number one, follow a thrifty lifestyle. Humans have limited resources and it's crucial to use them wisely. This is where being thrifty comes into play. Not only does it allow you to live below your means, but it also enables you to maintain your current lifestyle without breaking the bank. By opting for used clothing and furniture, you can save significant money without compromising style. Moreover, you can purchase generic items rather than branded ones, especially when it comes to daily essentials such as medicine and groceries. Being thrifty is not only about saving money, but also a way of living a more sustainable and fulfilling life. Additionally, don't shy away from hand-me-downs or borrowing items from friends. It's an excellent way to save money while still enjoying the things you love. Lastly, always keep an eye out for free resources. You never know what gems you might find. Number two, use public transportation. The most significant benefit of using public transport is that it's significantly cheaper than owning a car. You don't have to pay for gas, maintenance, insurance, or any other potential payments from owning a car. Plus, there are so many other perks. Public transport could be your game changer if you want to live below your means and save money. By using public transportation, you are not only reducing pollution, but you can also reduce your stress by letting someone else drive. No more worrying about finding parking spaces or mastering your parallel parking skills. And remember, buses usually have their prioritized lanes so you won't get stuck in traffic jams. But what about those in small towns with no access to public transport? Don't worry. You can still save money by walking, running, or biking to work. Even reducing your car usage by two days a week can help you save a lot of money. Hope you are enjoying the video so far. Let us know by giving the video a thumbs up. Number three, learn basic DIY skills to save on repairs and upgrades. Instead of hiring professionals and paying them for their services, you can do simple repairs and upgrades yourself, which can help you avoid expensive bills. You can save money by doing simple home repairs, such as painting or replacing light fixtures instead of hiring contractors. For example, if you know how to fix a leaky faucet or toilet, you can save money on a plumber's fee. Similarly, if you can change your car's oil or replace a flat tire, you can save on a mechanic's fee. In addition to saving money, learning these skills can be empowering and satisfying. It can give you a sense of control over your surroundings and help you develop new skills. Plus, it can be a fun and creative hobby. Number four, make use of coupons and discounts. As someone always looking for ways to save money, coupons and discounts are an absolute game changer. It's incredible how much money you can save using these simple offers. First, it's essential to understand the different types of coupons available. There are physical coupons you can find in newspapers or magazines, digital coupons you can access online, and finally, manufacturer coupons you can get directly from the manufacturer. Each can offer significant savings, so check for coupons in all these places. Another way to save money is by using discounts. Retailers offer discounts on products and services throughout the year, so staying on the lookout for these offers is crucial. For example, May retailers offer discounts during holidays, end of season, or back to school sales. However, it's essential to ensure you're only using coupons and discounts for items you need. Otherwise, you could spend more money on things you don't need just because you have a coupon or discount. It's also important to compare prices between retailers to ensure you get the best deal possible. Finally, you can maximize your savings by pairing coupons and discounts together. For example, if you have a coupon for 10% off and the retailer is offering a 20% discount, you can use both offers to get 30% off the original price. In conclusion, coupons and discounts are a frugal person's best friend. By taking advantage of these offers, you can save significant money on your purchases and make your hard-earned dollars go further. Number five, grow your fruits and vegetables on a windowsill, even just a few herbs. Grow your own fruits and vegetables is a great way to save money while also enjoying fresh, nutritious produce. Even if you have limited outdoor space or gardening experience, you can still grow herbs or small plants like cherries and tomatoes on a windowsill or balcony. Growing your product also allows you to control what goes into your food. You can choose to grow organic fruits and vegetables without pesticides and herbicides. Plus, harvesting your own food can be very rewarding and satisfying. You'll need basic supplies like soil, pots, seeds, and watering tools to get started. You can purchase these at a local gardening store or online. Choose appropriate plants for your climate and sunlight conditions and follow the instructions for planting and care. Congratulations, you have completed half of the journey to building a rich life. Another half will be more exciting, so keep watching and please hit the like button if you found the video useful. Number six, cut down on your expenses. As a frumble person, I'd always look for ways to reduce my expenses. And let me tell you, it's not as difficult as it may seem. The key is to make small changes that add up over time. 
Firstly, look at your monthly bills and see if there are any services or subscriptions you don't use. Canceling unused gym memberships, streaming services, or magazine subscriptions can save you a few hundred dollars annually. Another easy way to save money is to reduce your energy usage. This can be as simple as turning off lights and unplugging electronics when they're not in use. You can adjust your thermostat a few degrees in the winter and summer to save on heating and cooling costs. Regarding groceries, meal planning and cooking at home are great ways to cut expenses. Plan your weekly meals and list them before shopping to avoid impulse buys. Remember, cutting down on expenses doesn't mean sacrificing what you enjoy. It's all about making small changes that add up over time and help you live a more frugal and financially responsible lifestyle. Number seven, take on a side hustle. If you want to save money and build wealth, taking on a side hustle can be a game changer. Not only can it bring in extra income, but it can also help you develop new skills and network with people outside of your primary job. The possibilities are endless from freelance writing or graphic design to selling handmade crafts or providing pet sitting services. A side hustle doesn't have to be a considerable commitment. You can do it in your free time, whether for a few hours a week or a few hours a day. The key is to find something that you enjoy and that fits your schedule. One benefit of a side hustle is that it can be a great way to turn a hobby or passion into a source of income. For example, if you love to bake, you could start selling your baked goods at local farmers markets or online. You could become a personal trainer or teach group fitness classes if you're a fitness enthusiast. Another benefit of a side hustle is that it can help you diversify your income streams. If you rely solely on your main job for income, you put all your eggs in one basket. But with a side hustle, you have another source of income to fall back on in case of an emergency or unexpected job loss. Of course, taking on a side hustle requires some effort and commitment. But with the right mindset and determination, it can pay off significantly. So if you're looking to save money and build wealth, Consider taking on a side hustle. It could be the key to achieving your financial goals. Number eight, cancel subscriptions or memberships that you don't use or need. Many people sign up for services on a whim, thinking they will use them regularly, but forget about them and continue to pay for them each month. By canceling unnecessary subscriptions and memberships, you can save significant money over time. Take some time to review your bank and credit card statements to identify any recurring charges that you don't recognize or no longer need. You can then contact the service provider and cancel the subscription or membership. In addition to saving money, canceling unnecessary subscriptions and memberships can also help to declutter your life and reduce mental clutter. You won't have to worry about keeping track of multiple accounts and passwords or sorting through endless emails and notifications. Remember, it's okay to enjoy some luxuries in life, but make sure you're getting your money's worth and not wasting your hard-earned money on services you don't use or need. You could live a more frugal and financially secure life by being mindful of your spending and canceling unnecessary subscriptions and memberships. Number nine, cook food at home. As a frugal person, I'd always prefer cooking my meals at home. Not only is it a more affordable option, but it's also a healthier and more satisfying way to eat. When you cook at home, you have control over the ingredients you use and can customize your meals to fit your preferences and dietary needs. One of the most significant benefits of cooking at home is that it's a great way to hone your cooking skills. With practice, you can become more confident and creative in the kitchen, experimenting with new recipes and techniques, and who knows, you may even discover a passion for cooking that you never knew. But cooking at home can seem daunting, especially if you need to get used to it. That's why I recommend starting small and simple. Look for easy recipes that use just a few ingredients and take minimal time and effort to prepare. And don't be afraid to make mistakes or try new things. It's all part of the learning process. Overall, cooking at home is essential to living a frugal lifestyle. By taking control of your meals and using ingredients wisely, you can save money, eat healthier, and discover the joy of cooking. Before I show you this last and best tip, let us know your tips to live below the means in the comments below. Number 10, take advantage of free activities. As someone who values a frugal lifestyle, I know that finding ways to enjoy life without breaking the bank can be challenging. But one of the best ways to save money is to take advantage of free activities. You can do so many things without spending a dime that can be just as enjoyable as costly activities. For example, spending time in nature is a great way to unwind and relax. Not only is it free, but it's also a great way to get some exercise and fresh air. Take a hike, have a picnic, or go for a bike ride on a local trail. Another idea is to visit a museum or art gallery. Many museums offer free admission on certain days, and some galleries are always free. You can spend hours exploring exhibits and learning something new without spending a dime. Finally, spending time with friends and family doesn't have to be expensive. Plan a game night, have a potluck dinner or walk together in a local park. The memories you create will be priceless and you'll be able to save money while having fun. Friends, I hope you got to learn something from this video. Please subscribe for more content like this as I will keep bringing such knowledgeable videos for you. 
If you liked the video, hit the like button and share this video with your friends and family. Thank you for giving your valuable time.